Then all the disciples forsook him and fled. Matthew chapter 26 verse 56 Jesus never deserted his disciples, but they, in cowardly fear for their lives, fled from him at the very beginning of his sufferings. This is but one instructive instance of the frailty of all believers if left to themselves. They are but sheep at best, and they flee when the wolf comes. They had all been warned of the danger, and they had promised to die, rather than leave their master, and yet they were seized with sudden panic and took to their heels. It may be that I, at the start of this day, have braced up my mind to bear a trial for the Lord's sake, and I imagine myself to be certain to exhibit perfect loyalty, but let me be very watchful of myself, lest having the same evil heart of unbelief, I should depart from my Lord as the apostles did. It is one thing to promise, but quite another to follow through. It would have been to their eternal honor to have stood by Jesus' side bravely, but they fled from honor. May I be kept from imitating them. Where else could they have been as safe as near their master, who could immediately call for twelve legions of angels? They fled from their true safety. O oh God, let me not play the fool also. Divine grace can make the coward brave. The smoking flax can flame forth like fire on the altar when the Lord wills it. These very apostles who were as timid as hares grew to be as bold as lions after the Holy Spirit had descended upon them. And even so, the Holy Spirit can make my timid spirit brave to confess my Lord and witness for his truth. What anguish must have filled the Saviour as he saw his friends so faithless. This was one bitter ingredient in his cup. But that cup is drained dry. Let me not put another drop in it. If I forsake my Lord, I will crucify him again and put him to an open shame. Keep me, O blessed Spirit, from an end so shameful. Amen.